Good evening, everybody. It's Gordon from Good and God Gold Gaming. I am joined as usual by Alan playing Xerxes, Mickey playing Siren <laughs> slash Katarina, Neville playing whoever he is this week, Peter playing Carolus, and Richard playing Carcarius. When last we left off, they had stumbled upon Alder Root's Grove, or is it Alder Root's Grave? I'm not sure. I think the latter is probably more applicable. Blah, 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 blah. A certain someone, who we cannot name because they refuse to peg down their fucking name, walked up to said tree and examined the glowing blue mushrooms that had been growing on what appeared to be the desiccated, burnt corpse of a treant. In particular, a treant that you believe to be Elderroot. Upon touching the mushroom, it gave off a short electrical burst, causing four points of damage, if I remember right. Ellen, what's going on? <laughs> Camera's going to the ceiling and back. Anyway, um, <laughs> and there was a rumbling beneath your feet, and bursting out of the sand and soil behind you appeared a creature, as is currently shown on the screen. Lithe and snake like, half dragonish almost as well, having what was it? Six pairs of legs, a long serpentine tail, and lightning crackling out of its gaping maw. Its scales tough and slimy. And it's pissed! Why? Cue music. Why is it pissed? We didn't touch it. Yeah. A lot of things need therapy in this forest. So, I think I had everybody roll initiative last week so we can get straight into yeah. this week. Uh, I think I everybody think so. is on. Yes. Can you imagine the Algo Annihilation just ends this fight now? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's recharging, so I don't actually have it. But no, that would have been nice. I know that yep. I'm very great. Xerxes, <laughs> just stay within 30 feet for the first round. Okay. Uh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So, Coronas, you're up first. You see this creature hissing. It's a strange sound. It's sort of like a hiss and a growl and a roar all mixed together. And you see these sharp claws as it rears up, its mouth opening to snap down at you. What do you do? Let's check. Is my blade ignited? That's the, the... No. No. You didn't didn't say that you were igniting your blade. No. Because I didn't think a giant uh, Lovecraftian monster will jump out of the car. <laughs> uh, Just put this I think part. this is more um, H.G. Wells than Lovecraft. We don't know what this is, do we? No. Well, you haven't, you haven't rooted Can through I your ask? memories. Would you guys, <laughs> before you start doing anything, would you guys like to roll me some nature checks? I want to ask my blade of she. Is this in any of my books? No. I think you did ask that last week. What's her name? Oh, your, your, uh, Amara. Amara? I don't know. Aramal. Lady Aramal. Caramel. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, wow. Um, Arcarius with a 14. Corollas with a 16. Xerxes with a 20. Bims with an 8. Bims has advantage on this. Because Bims is a dragon. The chef Bob has a 16. No, he doesn't. <laughs> 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 uh, fantastic. Bims and his experience has never seen one of these creatures. He yeah, shame. He got stolen by the pirates too young. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> he doesn't have all that ancestral knowledge. I'm asking Oram Oramal. Are you asking Caramel? Yeah. If she knows anything. Why did I call her Caramel? And, um, you, you so that's her name. Person. Oh. Xerxes, you have this epiphany at the same time that Aramil whispers into your mind mm. a single word 
Hello? The here. Hello? The here. B E H I R. This is Do I know Do I know anything A about bear. them? You know that they are the mortal enemies of dragons? Huh. Uh, you know that they are generally found in caverns, so it's unusual that this thing is here in this forest, though so its lair is probably somewhere underground. Um, Let's be friended and go find a ghost dragon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You would also know mm -hmm. that it has lightning at its command. Um, and mm -hmm. you also know that they are incredibly strong, incredibly vicious, and they are unlikely to take prisoners. What about friends? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Like, what if we tell it we, we know a... Um, we know we can go kill a dragon. A nice big dragon that can kill his, yeah. You can attempt a persuasion check on your turn. <laughs> The first thing is, <laughs> does it understand it? I can call it and you guys can try to Is it sentient? It? You don't know. What so, are you doing? It's a mortal enemy of a dragon. I'm sure it speaks something. <coughs> okay, if, if, if they want to try weird stuff, then I'm just going to go... <laughs> um, that way. <laughs> that way. All right. Yes. As you start moving, you start dashing off to the side. This thing, its head snaps back and snaps forward with an impossible speed as it takes an opportunity attack to bite at you. Oh, because that's fair. Yay, range. It misses, however. To the neck. And you manage to duck underneath it, scrambling at the, at the hard earth as you get away from it. And then, How far <coughs> was I 10 feet? Yep. Okay. So that's range. Um, it has reach. Reach. Extreme reach. Uh, then I'm going to hold my action. Attack action. Okay, so if it does what? If it comes close to you? Yes. Cool. I'm saying if it tries and attack me. But for my bonus action, so long, I'm gonna ignite my. Ignite my sword. Yeah. Alrighty, so you ignite. The, the clearing is now lit by bright lights. Uh, where's my modifiers? No, it's not modifier. I'm looking forward to this. Does your blade actually have a light effect on it here? I don't think so. Mm, it says bright light 40, uh, but dim 80. It doesn't seem like it. It sounds very much like a torch. <laughs> I think it's a... I'll put the but like light. a strong torch, like a double... <laughs> Double string. <laughs> yeah. Double battery. Ener energizer. <laughs> torch. All right, cool. Xerxes, you're up. What are you doing? The uh, attention is focused on the dwarf at the moment. Fine. We always try and kill shit. Let's try a different approach. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say... Fuck, in what language? <laughs> I mean, as a free action, I can I play... Try draconic. <laughs> that's, that's like, it's either common or draconic. <laughs> so... This is an enemy of dragons, I don't think it'll speak draconic. <laughs> What's what the thing called again? I'm gonna say... No googling. <laughs> can you understand me? In common. In common? Yeah. It hasn't reacted at all. I'm gonna say it's in Draconic. Its head turns towards you, and it hisses I'm gonna, at you. I'm gonna say, we, ha we share a common enemy. We've been uh, looking for you in these woods for quite some time. We know of uh, where a dragon resides, so that you can uh, 
potentially slay one of your mortal enemies with us. Make a persuasion check. Can I help him? But I like to do weird hand gestures. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know exactly what you're saying. Like, <laughs> just, just nodding and pointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Just make like a... F- like flapping arms to demonstrate a dragon. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> this thing regards you for a long six seconds, and in this hissing, gravelly voice, it responds and reply, I'll eat you, and then I'll find the dragon. I fucking sh- I throw shit at this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so it's no go. It's a no go. <coughs> Yo, Wouldn't my spells really are men. Yo, <laughs> guys, I'm fucked. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so. What you doing? This thing's big enough for me to use twin spell on it, surely. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, it's three one for the head, one for the tail. <laughs> Uh, but can I can I shoot one thing at it and one thing for something for the ground behind it directly so that it's in the way of the ground? <laughs> no. That's not the way. That little rat running behind. No, there's an ant. There's an ant underneath it that I'm targeting. Nope. <laughs> then you'll hit the ant. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, shit, son. Um, okay, let me... Let's go big. I'm going to use... Um, what is that? A 5d8. And a 8d6. What's better? I'm going to do the, the sonic blast on it. Uh, it's a 30-foot cone. I'm moving... Directly above Carcarius. Okay. Um, don't look up, don't look up, don't look up. I am, still, <laughs> I am still 30 feet in the air, or mm-hmm. how, how high did we say I was? 30 or 40? Whatever. 30. I will go down to 30. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Sonic Blast is a 30 foot cone. Uh, so do I have to go 25 in order to hit it? or? Uh, you'll hit it. Okay. I'm too tired to compute. All right. Um, sonic blast. I got a natural okay. twenty for its resistance. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so at least the damage was okay. Fourteen points of damage. You um. Annoyed. <laughs> Good. And for a bonus action, I can't cast Dragon's Breath, right? On Bims. You can only use a cantrip with you. Okay. Um, I want to say, Bims, I'm going to need a potion, buddy. (laughs) So, Bims. Bims goes, you got it. Yep. And... And starts feeding you a potion. 100%. 100%. I've removed one potion from uh, his satchel. Um, I am going to get him to replace... Wait, can he? Probably not in the same action. What's that? What do you, what do you Feed want? me one of my own potions. What is Bims's dexterity? It is... 15. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, so you'll feed me one of my own potions. <laughs> so I'll make mine, I'll decrease mine by one and leave his. Okay, fuck's okay. hey, Siren, you're on deck. Think what you're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Potion of healing, yeah, there we go. Hey. Not bad. Eight points. You are feeling much relief. Siren. Yeah. The sword I will hand. have him move though. That's okay. Just like sure. around. Yeah. The sword in its scabbard. No. Actually, what's this thing even in a scabbard? I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure. Let's say you've got an ornate scabbard for the sword and when it when it came. It's on my back mm -hmm. with the other one, remember? Yep. You're doing the whole Highlander or yeah, yeah. Witcher thing. So yeah, yeah. the voice whispers in your head and says, Get me at it. I will help you. But if I die? Then I will help someone else. Sword. Well, you're as useful as a white crayon then. This is what I do. I slay monsters. I was a cavalier of the king's guard. A sword uh, saint. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, My spirit uh, yearns for battle. Well, if I die, I'm breaking you. <laughs> In half. And I will listen to your screams. She says, you will be dead. I will still be a sword. Hey guys, if if I die, <laughs> break the sword in half because she's mean. <laughs> Her words wound me. So. It's like chalking and cheese between the sword and Lulu. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you do? I'll move forward so I can hit the things that can kill me so they can break her. What? <laughs> what? Are you not gonna. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'm gonna hit the thing with the sword. Okay. You know that you can command the sword to go hit the thing on its own. No, <laughs> no, I have committed to this. In a rare act of bravery. No, it's stupidity, it's not. It's not bravery. It's not bravery at all. Oh, it's a very thin line. I'm yeah. being dumb right now. You're stepping right up, eh? Yep. Because no one else will. Uh -huh. I'll someone just look from the back and I'll say, uh-oh. Someone uh -oh. has to have the balls <laughs> in this campaign. Yeah, okay. Just die. Well, have you looked up at Xerxes lately? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> very smooth, like two marbles. Oh shit, he's a eunuch! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, too much information. Okay, so, you... make your make your sword attack. Uh... He's not moved yet. No, that's fine. Come I can't read the pair thing. <laughs> Why can't I read? No, why can't you hit anything? No, I can't read. My eyes are <laughs> there. So you slash on this thing just... The sword bites, but doesn't yeah. actually penetrate its scales. I can, like, leave the sword in it, right? Just look away. <laughs> you can move away, it's had its reaction. <laughs> yep. You can move away if you want. Yeah. yeah you Depends if it has like a legendary action. One way to find out. <laughs> Alright. So you've left the long sword embedded into this thing into in this thing's scales. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I'll I'll move back ten. Mm -hmm. Alright. I think Corollas may have taken a step too far. <laughs> there you go. Well it doesn't have reactions, so you can step one forward. So and then step back again. I'm gonna shot down at Siren. Um, oh shit, no, it's I go after it. Spread out! <laughs> I'm trying! <laughs> but my token is broken for some reason. Right, where do you, you want to move? Left? Right? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so my token <laughs> is still here, and the circle is right above for me. There we go. <laughs> Okay. And now I'm gonna shot again. And from Red. our perspective, uh, sorry, just ran in circles. So I was there, so that's ten and then from yeah. there. I've moved you back to where you were, so that's oh, wait, five. You were there. So where do you yeah. go? So you're yelling spread out, so I'll uh Bob and me that way then. <laughs> literally me. I'll literally run it as exact. <laughs> There's like nothing running off to you, but you're just going. Yeah, the siren has <laughs> lost it. Spread out <laughs> within 30 feet, like the healer said. <laughs> I am within. Hey, one step back, siren, one step back. Fine! Ah. Okay. Yes. There we go. 
Jesus. <laughs> Is that your turn? We need a wife. Wait, you gave me that its best. <laughs> I don't need to be dating anyone to be mad right now. <laughs> Fuck. Two steps forward, one steps back. It's the it's dragon. Dead. I mean, like, hit the dragon to change to, to eat the dragon. <laughs> There's a dragon. No, there's no dragon. <laughs> <coughs> oh, what if we coax the dragon into coming to fight this thing and then we run away? It's this too thing late. starts moving in its undulating body. The sword falls out onto the ground. I'm going to yeah. say it's sitting over here. That's fine. And it takes a step forward. Uh huh. Of course it does. Yell be uh, high! There. Mm, no, they're still not the right angle. Angle. Oh. That bad angle will do. <clears throat> That's why I said spread out. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it's, yeah, except that the other it's, two of us have not got electricity. <laughs> So its mouth opens and this crackling bolt of lightning blasts through you and past you and around you in a high beam of energy. One of you fails, one of you succeeds. Ooh. Feathers, cheers. No. Feathers fails. Vicarious and the chef Bob both succeed on How the How did save. feathers even get hit? You said it's a straight line. Feathers is up. Magic. Is he up? Yeah. Fine. He's a bird. <laughs> a fucking owl. He's flying. You take this much lightning damage. Oh, oh god. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow the a... chef Bob succeeds on his concentration save. <laughs> oh, what? I'm gonna shout at Siren. See? <laughs> Yeah, well, don't, don't worry, it'll be put back on because that Behind would have Behind you, the mushrooms that are growing on the tree seem to engorge and get larger. That's not a good sign. The energy. Uh, and. Mm, and that be its turn. Feathers. Feathers. What you doing, Feathers? Feathers. Well, uh, just oh, a question. Oh. Mickey Sword. Just for of a time. Yes, he has an extra one. He's attuned, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Feathers will go and do a flyby, grab the sword and bring it to Mickey. Or we'll bring it to Siren and drop it at her feet. Alright. <laughs> the bird does a whole Harry Potter mail delivery thing <laughs> and drops the sword off at your feet. Wait, wh what kind of owl is your bird? Is it like. Is um, it a bored owl? Is it a horned owl? No, no, I'm thinking more like is it a Weasley owl? Is it like old Errol? <laughs> no, it's definitely not Errol. <laughs> It smacks into stuff. Yep. <laughs> is it a dwarf one? Is there, it? There is a tree no. branch or a tree ant arm in the way. <laughs> All right. So he no, successfully no. grabs it and drops it off. And then where does he go to? Uh, then he will. Okay. What? Uh, you said the sword was there, huh? And the sword was here. So he used like what? Twenty-five feet of movement. So you'll end up there then. Will he fly back again after dropping the sword? Yeah. yeah, so he goes and grabs the sword, drops it off its siren, and he will fly over there. Round about 15 feet up. <laughs> the chef box is your turn. Oh, if not, why not? 
I'll head over there. Still waiting for me to get there. I'm still where I am. Oh really? Yes. On my screen, you are there. Yeah, same. Okay, well, I must have a delayed reaction thing. Oh well, <coughs> yeah. Now I'm there. Okay. Uh. I think the patch broke something. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I will, as a bonus action, take aim. And then I will flamey the shit out of this bitch. That is it. Hit. Uh, I actually didn't even need to do that. But fine. Uh, so what are you doing? You need a flame blade, blade on it. Hopefully it'll work. Just trying to find my damage. Uh... Hey, 17 points of damage. Ole! Not bad. You piss it off even more. <coughs> and I'll just. Quite simply say, and in my turn. Okay, it doesn't understand what you said. I don't care whether it understands or not. <laughs> Why do I understand that? Why do you understand it? Because you speak infernal. <laughs> Oh, so I speak Infernal from my ring, but I haven't added it to my list of languages. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why it's not showing up. Okay. Wait, that's weird. Yeah, look, it should. Yeah, but no, it's you not. Speak it is under your languages. You speak common, but Japonic, when I English, click, and see, but when I click on the arrow, the down arrow, I can only select common or draconic in the do chat you, box. But do you have your bims selected? Yes, I think you've got the wrong person. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 okay, that's better. Sorry, User. <laughs> User error. Okay. Um, let's work this out. Beacon of hope. Is everyone in range of that? If you move it down one. They can't move yeah, down. but I can't move down. move down. Oh. Well, yeah, half of the token is in, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys are in there. Yep. Note to self, kill the priest. <laughs> uh, so, that'll go something there. What this nonsense? Advantage versus <laughs> death. Receive mass <laughs> Advantage on wisdom save. I don't think that's going to help us much in this case. Mm, probably not. Uh, okay, but now no one die because that was my last third level spell. Your wisdom is <laughs> my wisdom. Your wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Issue. Uh, problem is now. Level. Yep. Yeah, I've got zero spells as well. And I can't do anything else in the bonus action because cantrips are shitty. <laughs> uh, they're just situational. What else I can actually do is fuck all else I can do as a bonus action. Um, you can punch it. Right? Uh, there's a bonus. Only yeah. It's part of a melee attack. Oh, is it? No. Can I shield bash it? <laughs> no. You may cower behind Damn your it. shield as a free action. <laughs> Maybe um, you should no, become should, you see, I, I can't even take a dodge action. God damn it. it. Was that an action to use your beacon of? Yep. Oh, okay. 
Well, why it's we just can't do any of our bonus. Yeah, move yourself into a slightly more advantageous position. Over there. That's all I can think of. Yeah. Did it move your character? Yeah, it did. Oh, wait, wait, why are you moving me that? <laughs> I want to no, stay no, within no. its reach. No, no, no. That, I was it's just in its reach. Alrighty, so that's your turn. Yeah, that'll be all I can do for now. So, Corollas, you're up. Yeah, I think we take it from all four corners, at least it can't get us in a straight line. <laughs> Makes <laughs> sense. Um, okay, so Would um, Kakarius have advantage if he melee attacked it because of Chef Bob? Uh, yeah. Right but on my no. next turn, you would. Not, not, not where he is at the moment, but on his next turn, yeah, if he moves. Okay. Uh, so if I stand there, yep. in that corner, mm -hmm. then I would have advantage. Sure. Who, but who's... then you're grouping next to Bob. He can still move after his turn. Yeah, I have 14 feet of movement. But who's pink? Me. Ah, oh, so. <laughs> so are you moving there? Well, well, yeah. Makes sense if I, yeah, if I stand uh, there, I'm still next to him. Uh, so he can double swipe us and kill us both. Okay, so. hey, gonna smack it with my sword that's already ignited. It doesn't even flinch. Feels weird way. saying take a corner on something that's like a wriggly snake. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In this corner we have the wriggly snake. <laughs> oh, but in this case it's in that corner and in that corner. <laughs> <laughs> and that one, and that one, and that one. It does have in all wow. corners. No. Whoa! <laughs> Miss on a sixteen. You strike yeah. out with your blade. And it sort of catches it in one of these three fingered claws, it just knocks it aside. Almost okay, wrenching it from your grip. Gonna try again. Like so chopping off his bloody legs. No. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, it's one of those That's days. Two net ones dropped. Another yep. one of its 12 legs knocks your blade aside. It's body, it's body, it's body, it's body writhing and coiling. Okay, seeing, seeing that I'm not doing well with the sword, I'm gonna kick it. <laughs> you get like a broken toaster. <laughs> Work, god damn ya. Are you doing a key kick or just a normal <laughs> kick? No, you hit. Key, I'm gonna have a flurry of blows. 26. Um, that's a, yeah. Hey, okay. So now I just want to make sure the thing is off. Yeah. Otherwise, Switch okay. Off your sword. <laughs> Yeah, switch off my <laughs> Your torch. Take out the ever ready batteries. Oh shit, I shouldn't be saying these brand <laughs> brand names. Eight points of damage. Hey. Is there another one? Hold on. But you can't say that, maybe they'll start sponsoring us. Come I on! That. You saw, saw that. that. I saw that. That should have been a 20. But no, a 13. No, no, it was rolling onto a 20, and then it stopped. Yep. So, Corollas, as you kick out at this thing, your foot depresses slightly into its slimy, scaly, or slimy scales, and then you feel a slight tingling in your foot, and you pull it off just in time before you got shocked. The script you're running is, is working tonight. Yeah. Uh, they reversed the last patches. I run a clean yeah. game. <laughs> So. What'd you say now? No, you may, but <laughs> Fantasy Grants doesn't. Okay, no. uh, so I'm gonna run around and then stand there in that corner. <laughs> then stand there in that corner. Yeah. Alrighty. Sure. So, okay, because I think that's what everyone wanted. No. No. I just, I just thought that was the only place that you could get advantage, which is why I suggested there. Oh. Uh, just by the way. Yeah, what? Okay, according to my screen, from where you were standing, just one down with yeah. the ultimate. Yeah. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna Agreed. stand in my my old corner, just one down. <laughs> okay. 
hundred percent. Is that your turn? Yes. Yeah, it's Xerxes. From that uh, 20 that I rolled earlier, mm -hmm. do I know of any resistances that this thing may have? Yes. You would know that it is immune to lightning. Okay, that's a, a kind of figured, but okay. <laughs> Still helpful. It's nice to have confirmation. <laughs> okay, and I see fire damage has uh, been affecting it. Mm -hmm. yep. So Burms is like <laughs> getting hella excited. <laughs> okay. Um, Burms doesn't know what this thing is, but it's like, you know when you get those little dogs that are super duper brave when they see the Rottweiler? A Jack Russell. <laughs> Jack Burms Russell. is a Jack Russell. Yes, Burms is a Jack Russell <laughs> of the dragon world. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to cast Firebolt at... I think it's, in this case, it's more Bims as a Chihuahua with the spirit of Jack Russell. <laughs> and I miss. Yep. Uh, and I can't attack twice or anything like that. In this that. case, it's not so much that you miss, it's just that your Firebolt does nothing. Um, it scales thick. Oh, and I have to fly two Bims in order to... How, how high up in the air is this thing? What thing? The uh, like how high, yeah, how, how, how high does it stand? 10 feet, 20 feet, 15 feet? Uh, yeah, about 15 feet or so. So you said you were 30 feet off the ground. So yeah. You're out of its, its range at the moment. Yeah, okay. and I'm just going to fly directly across. And I'm going to... And then I'm going to fly back again after I've touched booms, but... How far uh, actually, was Burns? Also 30 feet away. I would imagine he's just the same as me. Right. Always, just to make it easy. Um, let me just cancel this movement. I'm gonna go there, and then I'm gonna go there. So I'm gonna fly past. I'm gonna touch him. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give him flames. <laughs> Tag team. And that is a second level spell slot. There goes my second level spells. I'll hold boxing ring metaphor, wrestling ring. So, Dragon's Breath is crossed. Bims' turn. Bims has to go down, whatever, 10 feet to be able to cast it, and then he'll go back up again. It's a 15 foot turn. It is, yes. He's going to get in... So 15 foot up. down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. And then go back up again. Cool. He's just going to swoop down. Yeah, and I think... So if he's going to go 15 foot down and 15 foot up, that's 30. The other 30, he'll go... Over there. Okay. Uh, let me just get his token on. Okay, and let me just double click on him as well, so I'm using his stats and stuff. Unfortunately, this thing rolls another natural 20 for its deck save. <laughs> it only takes 4 points of fire damage from Bims' flyby. Hey, Bims is happy. <laughs> Bims is a real dragon. Hit's a hit. Yep. He's like one tiny little whisker on this thing that's on fire. <laughs> Oh, Siren, the sword is at your feet. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up. <laughs> and now there's a corner available for you to get advantage on. Is it? Is it really? You want me to really swing the sword? Given my history? Well, you're the one who went up there first and took a swing at it, so you might as well carry on with the trend. No, I want to use my spells now. You can use your bonus action to make the sword attack. Just say. I know, but she won't get advantage, will she? No, she won't. But it doesn't matter, at least she's attacking. Yeah, well, let me do my Will spell her first. sword get advantage of my spiritual weapon is on the other side of it? <laughs> we said no last no. week, unfortunately. No. Yeah, I want to move. try, but the answer is still no. <laughs> I'm going to move there. I'm going to whisper to it. Die, motherfucker, die, motherfucker, die. 
something like that. In, in, uh, in Samuel L. Jackson's voice. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I'm uh, thinking of snakes on the plane. <laughs> I've had enough to hear with these motherfucking snakes. <laughs> the motherfucking snakes are motherfucking plane. Yo, the thing is. Not not have, I just uh, the, the, this latest update isn't our friend. Yeah. So, does it do half damage? Yeah, it does half damage. Alright, so go for it. That's why I was stopping to read real quick. So, five points of psychic damage as this thing hisses in pain, but mm. it's not particularly effective no. Mm. Cool, and then I'll take this sword and do the bonus action of attacking. In your mind, um, there yeah. is a psychic call, a singing, a gleeful elvish battle cry. So we're at least getting help. I'm thinking Xena Warrior Princess. Yeah, no, the dice aren't up because that was a 14 and it just decided to go back an 8. Just decided to drop 10 points. Yeah, it's like, no, you know what? No, go then. Access denied. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, nothing else I can do. Oh my. The sword doesn't want to be useful. Did you see this thing sort of curl into itself a bit? And its mouth opens, and there's a crackling of lightning there again. Oh, for Pete's sake, did it recharge? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, Who hurts it? I certainly it. didn't because I missed it. Beirut, hey, you get an attack of opportunity. Okay, I get an attack of opportunity. You do. Advantageously. Oh, hey, hey, nope. Mm -hmm. Without it, well. No. No one's across from you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, this thing's running all over the place. <laughs> well, hold it still so I can attack that thing. I wish Ooh, I could, I gonna, but it's not going to wait. Do I get an attack of opportunity as well? Yep. So you managed to hit it, Damon? Shit, I can't push things up. I'm the only one who did not get an attack of opportunity. the damage as you slash into its scales. You also hit it. Trident. With your hey, look, the trident's actually been useful. Yep. <laughs> At least something has been oh, useful. Four points of damage. You poke it in the <laughs> ass as it runs fast. <laughs> No, I think I, I just make it stub one of its small toes. Like, is this some kind of electric deal? Can this work? <laughs> it, yeah, can you command it? Is can it I fish? talk to it? <laughs> is it a fish? Join us next time. Is it, is it a fish? I command it with my trident. Carolus, you are going to be doing... Big Why? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I see. Wait, if I see this thing open its mouth, I go, uh uh, bitch, and I cast counter spell. This is not a spell. Ah, oh, fucker. <laughs> I feel like there's a very oh. obvious answer. Oh, to God. This. It rolled Can shit. Can How do the. A shit death is a death. How the fuck is that shit? <laughs> because it, it rolled a whole bunch of low numbers. Well, I did roll a no low number as well. Ex sorry, who exceeded by uh, 38? Yeah. Did it exceed anybody's uh, maximum health? Mine. Is it no. maximum health? Uh, exceeded no, no, no. Exceeded no, no. It's such a max health. So you two are both down. Well, how much health do you have? Oh my god. Uh, I'm oh. sorry, I exist. Well, shit, I, guys. I'm 51 health. Uh, well, actually, you know what? We both have 51 health. We got the highest health and we died. Doesn't feathers disappear? <sighs> no. 
Does he stick around? He just hasn't hit any commands. Hey, he gets no commands, yeah. Fuck. I am basically. I already had my uh, share of chocolate today, but fuck. <laughs> you're gonna need to eat some more. <laughs> the Chef Bob, I require a death saving throw from you. Luckily, you have advantage of this. Because of a certain cleric that I said I was gonna kill first. You lie. I mean, not me. The big. No. <laughs> did you did you mean the character or the player? The character. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's Ooh. a failure, even with advantage. God damn. Vicarious, it is your turn. <sighs> Well, this fucked up my plans. And nice knowing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> With my luck and roll. Yeah. Xerxes uh, claps into the sunset. <laughs> yeah. I'll beat you again sometime! So, yeah, as an action, <laughs> I'm using Preserve as my channel divinity. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I lost a bit there. Did you say you're using Prison? Preserve, preserve life. life. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. This one. Uh, this. And. As I can't do. Oh, uh, fuck. So I'm those two. I'm wondering how I split this. Yeah. So we'll do 10 to these three. So I've got. I think I can. I'm just gonna do again. Um, choose any creature uh, energy that can restore a number of hit points equal to five times cleric level. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's the T. So I'm doing so in each on and Bob. So. Bob, Siren, and Corollas, you all feel better. However, Bob and Corollas, you are currently prone on the ground. I just want to add those effects to you. Okay. Um, yeah, so a, qu a question. Um, with Beacon of Hope, it says regains the maximum number of hit points from any possible healing. So using channel divinity, would that give each person I heal 30? Should. Or does it have to be divided? It has to be divided. Uh, that one gets, yeah, it's not a roll. That's no, just, like, just, just like the lay on hands yeah. of a paladin. It's just a number That's of an actually, people. yeah. So there isn't actually a... Yeah. And divide the hit points among them. Okay. Unfortunately, that would make that way too powerful. It's already way too powerful. Oh. <laughs> but a potion will give you max health. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, why is it not. I, I'm not done yet. Oh, are you not? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> wow. I do that. That was action. I still have a bonus action. Well, what are you doing for your bonus action? I don't. Motherfucking spiritual weapon. <laughs> the narwhal. Oh, it's a narwhal. Yeah, yeah. Wait, bitch. <laughs> I should make this thing's voice sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> this big ass monster. Come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your best shot. Uh, let me just move this one to me. Man, I was so excited to counterspell it. <laughs> oh, did you mark off that spell slot, by the way? Well, I said, as if I see it casting I'm... a spell, and you said it isn't casting a spell, so no, do I have to? It's not casting a spell. Yeah. No, 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 then you won't. So, ouch. 11 points of force damage. It impacts. That is not what my turn. Alright. <laughs> Corollas, you are prone on the ground, this thing leering at you from above. Would you like to stand up? Yes. <laughs> I thought you might. Mm, check. Next? You are stood up. Uh, 
seems to me it doesn't matter how much health you have if it eats you it eats you <laughs> properly the lightning breath yes yes that lightning breath is 12 d10s peace <laughs> can't, you, can't you just have this thing as a pet holy shit that was my suggestion. Okay, well, I'm gonna stand on a si on on this side. Oh no, that lightning went that way. It didn't go near the tree. Oh. You're gonna stand that side. So when it lightning bursts oh, me God. again, it doesn't hit anyone else. Uh, so wait, what what happened to the tree the last time it did lightning? The mushrooms, the mushrooms grew stronger. The mushrooms became engorged and grew bigger. Yeah, they're starting a civilization. God damn it, that tree is a nuke. That tree Probably. is a goddamn nuke. All the mushrooms just jump off and attack us. <laughs> they gain sentience. Yes. <laughs> so, what you doing now? Uh, my sword, it's yeah, it's no longer up. activated. Keep in mind, right. I did make that ruling that you can use a bonus action to use a, a potion. Really? I seem to recall I did. Oh, that this sounds the... happy. That sounds good to me. Yes, I'm not yeah, gonna we, argue. We, we, we don't recall. I will not yeah. argue that point. And remember, yeah. your potions do max healing. So just tell me what kind of potion you're using. Potion of healing. Just a normal one. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have think no we others. We have any others. Okay, so just. A, I've got a superior. You've never given us great. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a D, uh, what, what is it? Uh, uh, two D4s plus two, so it's ten points of healing. Yeah. Right, Thanks. you are healed. Mark off your potion. From from now on, all our bonus actions are covered. We are drinking potions of healing. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. If I'd glug, known glug. that, I would have actually drank one in that in that first turn. Yeah, I did actually make. When that I didn't know what to. Because we haven't really used potions in a while. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I ad hoc drink a potion of healing for my last bonus action? No, because you used a spiritual weapon. Before that, I mean. <laughs> Let's say I drank one. <laughs> Your spiritual weapon hits with 11 damage. That's good. Let's leave <laughs> it at that. <laughs> is, is Xerxes on the ground? No. No, no. He's, he's flying 30 feet in the air. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, uh, then I'm just gonna smack it with the sword. Xerxes, flash just, it. <laughs> so the sword. It may it's, give us the advantage we need. When when uh, I went unconscious, Uni the sword human. also th was not activated. I think if you leave it, then it's not activated. It doesn't say so in the description of the sword. Let me quickly check. I think when it's activated, as long as you're still holding onto it, it stays activated. That's a good way to burn down something. Yep. If you're full unconscious. <laughs> uh, wrap from full the unconscious and take the room <laughs> with you. <laughs> Additional, while the sword is ablaze, deal damage. The flames last until you use a bonus action to speak the command with again or until you drop or see through teeth. The weapon I saw. Okay, so, so I, if you dropped to the ground, you probably would have dropped the sword. So uh, letting go of it would extinguish it. Today. So yeah, it is not a lie. Yeah, from now on, tape it to your hand. <laughs> Chain it to my hand. There used to be gloves like that in D and D in one of the editions. I can't remember. It would actually make it impossible uh, for somebody to use on. Did you drink a potion, or Corilla, just make or it what? Yeah. Oh, you got. You should have full HP then. Yeah, he did. He got 10, 10 hits. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, not full HP. No, no, no. You full don't heal. Uh, it's max HP from what still, he's healing. Still good. Him. God. <laughs> that that would make Beacon of Hope brilliant. Like any healing just... Ooh, nice. Ooh, he's got a natural 20. Just don't roll a fucking one now. <laughs> I'm Probably getting... Not, it hasn't got fire on it. <laughs> nah. No. Sucks though. But it's though. still... It's a natural <laughs> Hey, not bad. Okay. 11 points. You slash well, into it. It's one of its 12 calf muscles. <laughs> he used his bonus action so he couldn't switch on the, the sword. Uh, Drink a potion so I don't die. Really, Neville? You just said we've got our bonus actions sorted. Yeah, I just remembered now. Hey, <laughs> okay. 
Okay, and I'm, I'm getting a roll there, like, hang on a roll. You got it. I should have rolled the one. Five points of damage. <laughs> you just had to say that. <laughs> yeah. But at least I uh, hit. Previously, with advantage, I missed. Twice. Alrighty. And is that your turn? That's my turn. Okay. Xerxes, you're up. What you doing? Mm. Finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen this play with chippies? Cheesy steak. No. That's interesting. What? Mm. It is interesting. That's puffs. That's not chips. No, it's not puff. <coughs> Actual chippies. Okay. Oh. Xerxes, Xerxes, Xerxes. I'm gonna move five feet there. I'm going to try another... Sonic Blast. Uh... You know what? No, I'm going to do a fireball. Um, How are you placing my corollas? <laughs> and now I'm just thinking where I can place it. I'm going to move. Can you cast fireball inside of a creature's mouth? Yes, you can. Just gonna blow. If you can see feet. the inside of that creature's mouth, yes. Because then technically, fireball can go around corners, which means it should be able to move down its throat. It can go around corners. I'm gonna just move, just move that fireball for me, please. You get the idea, right? Yeah, you wanna cover half of it without actually yeah. getting hit by it. <laughs> and I, I can move if I need to, up or down or whatever. I think for that you're gonna have to move up. Yeah, five foot up. Or you might have actually then rather flown in the other direction. Well, I just need to go five foot up. A five foot fireball is a... 30 foot. Isn't it a 20 oh. foot radius? 20 up. foot, yes, sorry. 20 foot sphere. The 20 foot radius um, or 20 foot diameter? 20 foot radius. So 40 foot diameter. So in other yeah. words, you would need to fly up. Even 10 feet. Yeah. That depends so, on where the center is, because if it's a dome... It's, it's fine, we, we're doing easy maths. So I'm gonna easy, go... Yeah, we're doing easy maths. <laughs> I am 40 slow. feet in the air. Mm -hmm. Well, 41, if I need to. <laughs> okay, um, cool, so I'm just it gonna kills remove that this athlete's foot. <laughs> hey. That kind of fungus. <laughs> Oh, it fails. Nice. Nice. This is the first deck save it's failed. Oh, terrible roll. Not bad. 25 points of fire damage. It's... Plus 5. Your fireball slams into plus 5. 30 points of fire damage. Charisma bonus, yeah. It is... Staggered. As this fire engulfs it. And it growls up at you. Ooh, I don't like that. And I, um, that's <laughs> 5 plus 10 is 15. Um, I'm gonna move 15 foot. 5, 10, 15. That way. Cool. Uh, that is my last third level spell, guys. So you are 45 feet in the air at the moment. And yeah. Alrighty, Bims. Bums is gonna pew pew and then pew pew pew. He's gonna fly and then we which direction he's gonna fly. Okay. <laughs> and so just roll roll the 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 cast. Okay, let me just select him. Dragon's roll for magic. Cast. <laughs> oh, it succeeds again. Of course. So only half damage from this burst of flame. <laughs> It was a pretty decent roll, though. Right? Thirteen point five to six. It's not enjoying all this fire. Siren, what are you doing? Ah, uh, one moment, please. Please hold. Please hold. I just need to go help with something. Just tell me what your character's doing first. Oh, it's it's eight o'clock. Let's go get some coffee. Should we should we take a quick break? Yeah. yeah. Right, right before death, since about right. <laughs> yeah, no. We 
will have appointments to keep. <laughs> Permanent we'll purgatory. And we're back with Siren's turn. She's had a moment to think about things. She's running forward 15 feet. Then what are you doing? So I'm gonna whisper at it again, but at the third level. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Your mother was a hamster. Your father was a, I don't know, donkey. Troglodyte. A troglodyte. <laughs> Oh wow. It failed. It's vaguely lizardish and D D, so yeah, that works. It so it's each so that's two. One. That's two extra die. Yeah. Ouch. Fifteen points nice. of damage, nice. Cool and then noise. I'll, I'll push the sword forward. Because he's up next to a Cozy next to the normals. I don't see the tokens moving. The sword just flies over Siren's shoulder. That was the first movement yet. The tokens aren't moving, but that's fine. It we'll moved. make the leap. Okay. There. Okay. Okay. Is, I'm is sorry. Your token also not moved. No. That's weird. On the moved on my side. Yeah. It's not. I'm seeing the move in time. There, oh, there I am. So yeah, the sword still needs a bit of practice. This, mm -hmm. She's a... Uh, so you, you still have 15 feet of movement, or is it... No, nah, I'm fine. This thing whisks itself around and lunges down... Bye-bye. Actually, it doesn't lunge down at you, Corollas. It is going to do a constrict attack against you. Nice to know you. <laughs> and misses! Ooh, you dodge nice. out of the way. It is angered. I'm and it reaches down roll. to bite you. This time it hits with a 28. Fuck. <laughs> and that wasn't even a crit with a 28. <laughs> and you take... A lot of damage because it's molars and three molars and canines start crushing and slashing. I think my internet line. Oh god died. damn it. 26 points of damage and Corollas drops down to the ground. And this beastie. Host is running a different version than client. Whoops. No. I told you there was an update just as I logged in now. Before, oh, no. yeah, before we started. Okay, I'm going to go to break again. I will edit it out so that I can restart and everybody can reconnect. Yeah, I just got kicked out.
Let's get fucked up and die. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, back for the second time. I have a farm to look after, so I'll see you guys. Oh, I remember watching this. <laughs> this was great. Uh, for those who missed the interlude, we're discussing evolution. But the creature downs Corollus. It is now free to move. Where, oh, where shall it move? What do you mean, downs what, huh? It just it killed Corollus. Crushed mm. Corollus. We have to swallow Corollus. No, no. Don't swallow him. Just, just bit him. Pumped him. He's going to move to the closest enemy, which is you, Richard. Oh, God damn it. It just brushes your spiritual weapon and the sword aside. Swing. That gnoll is about to become a suppository. <laughs> <laughs> Feathers. Well, hopefully that gives it advantage. <laughs> Feathers will provide internal strike me some assistance. Okay. So <sighs> I will. I will. Stand up. I fucking I got to retop my entire bloody message that I had prepared. Yep. yep. Uh, okay. God damn. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to type the whole damn thing. I'm just going to tell you that in Elvish. As I'm walking along over here, I'm going to say, I can't even remember what I was going to say. Something about you're going to die nastily in Elvish. Oh, you land dwelling lizard. And. Oh, why is it. Just like most lizards, right? I was just about to say, most lizards? <laughs> Are you standing Not if you up? think of the marine iguanas. Yeah, I'm standing up. And moving you're there. so common. <laughs> with a <the> bonus, <laughs> yeah, bonus action, I'll. You put down a potion. Gecko. You'll do what? As a bonus action, I'll put down a potion. Okay, something weird is happening on my side. Just wait a second. Because I'm mousing really? over your token. It shows that, it, that you've moved to the corner of the bit here, but you're still standing next to Siren. Yeah, and... Ooh, there we go. Weird. weird. Mm. All right. <laughs> Whatever I'm... you fixed did not get fixed, Fantasy Grounds. Mm. Okay. They turned off your hacks, that's all. I will have a potion, which is a greater healing, so 20 points, please. Oh, will you now? Oh, yeah, yes. God damn it, I will. I say I will. Uh huh. Potion of greater action. Healing. Yeah. So no, you can't use sneaky, sneaky, sneaky stuff. What do you mean I can't use sneaky, sneaky stuff? Of course I can use sneaky, sneaky action. stuff. Feathers. <laughs> Feathers is giving me advantage. Uh -huh. So I will still be using my sneaky, sneaky stuff. Okay. So, go for it. Damn it. So, I will advantageously look some oh, shit out of this visit. The, the sound. I'll put the sound back so that people can quite frankly hear how I'm going <laughs> to bash the hell out of this little oversized little what I am. Twenty hits. Of course it hits. Very difficult for me to miss. That's what I said. Yeah, but that's you. You are you. It's only natural you will miss. Okay, he can't talk. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Ouch, 26 points of damage. <laughs> this thing is I'll cool. laugh maniacally. Uh, I, there's nothing else. Damn you it. kill it and it splits into two. <laughs> <laughs> God. Don't give the DM ideas. You can't. Do it. Yeah. Wait, where's my. There's my. Uh, I'm, I won't make it to him, will I? Ooh. No, you, Dude, you just hear Bums whisper in your ear. Shh, I got this. I want a chief. Okay. I got this bitch. Bim, Bim, Bim whisper in his mind. Yeah, I got you. I got. I got you, bitch. Well, so needs to teach him an indoor place. I'm gonna move there. <laughs> that is so weird. Like the circle that marks. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you understand. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, 
Uh, for now, there's not much I can do for Corollas. I'm going to focus on, firstly, as an action, activating my Radiant Soul. All right. So you are my, my wings come out, and I oh, fucking need to undo that. Like an Iron Man suit. I need to do <laughs> After we kill this thing, we're going to chop holes in it and sleep inside of it for warmth. Yes. And, protect, and protection. <laughs> I agree. After we take its heart. And then yeah. I shall firstly attack with a spiritual weapon. Ooh, nice. Then add my radiant soul. Plus 11. And then it's looking rough. You no. actually see your, your narwhal stick it in the leg and it sort of like crumples. Hopefully, <laughs> it's got others to support it. Okay, and that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm coming back in a sec. I'm just going to let someone in. Rollers, I need you to. Wait. He didn't heal him, hey? No. No, I don't know. You didn't. You didn't. You're not healed in any way, shape, or form. Please roll me a uh, death saving throw. Why do I you have, have advantage? Because well, it's a critical really. success. Which means you, your eyes flutter open. And you oh, wow. No longer have this beastie standing above you, but you can see Carcarius a short way away. And you know that this is the boon of Pokemon's blessing. And you actually have your turn. Would you like to stand up? Yes, I'm go yeah, I'm going to stand up. And then I'm not going to go closer. <laughs> I, I've, I think I've, I've learned from my mistakes. So I'm going to stand there. So when he beams... He just beams me or just someone else. Uh, and then, um. <laughs> and then I'm gonna throw a few radiant sun bolts. Yeah. Richard, look at the look at the roll window. Ooh, nice! Your damn blessing. <laughs> that sounds like an oxymoron. <laughs> Wait, I know. Damn blessing. I don't, uh, how do you heal? That's no, why. You, you, you got a critical death saving throw. Critical hit. Crit oh, shit, there. <laughs> That's the advantage of the Let's look at the death. Six. So six points of damage with your first bolt of light that flashes into this thing. Almost okay. lighting it up like an exoskeleton. I'm oh, sorry, not an exoskeleton. An X-ray. That's the word I'm <laughs> 13 okay. misses, unfortunately. I'm going to use my bonus action to drink a potion. Go for it. Uh, so, I just have one. So, uh, well, not healing. one, but yeah, just a break. Just give him ten. You don't have to I, do anything. Yeah, I need that. I need that double strength. <laughs> you know, the, <coughs> the the double flavor. The, the, the double strength discipline. Yes. <laughs> All right. Is that your turn, or you want to move away, or uh, move one to the right? Like that. Yes. What you doing? Just reading something quick. Um, Itchy, you just need to go poke it in the eye and it'll die. Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to use my Wand of Magic Missile. One, two, three, level four. So that is three, four, five, six. You've used this before. Yes. I've so used two. One, two, three, four, five charges, and I'm using four. So I've got six missiles. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. 
Fantastic. Unbelievable. And I say, Glacia, this is for you. Oh, God. Roll a D100 for me. No, I get out of the way. They you get a plus 10 bonus. If you roll a 16... Oh, well, okay, that's a... Uh, wrong, sorry, wrong person. As you say. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, unfortunately, while you offer it up, you are uncertain if your prayer, your 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 homage, is heard, and the beastie crumples down between you. Its legs go limp, but you can still see there are small sparks coming off of its body. I'm just doing this as a. <laughs> I just wanted to do that as a test. Get it hard out. Take it. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> Shove it up. Shove it up for spell parts. Get the heart. Everything around you. Turns to the mushrooms quiet. in the tree. Say again. Oh, so if anything happens to the mushrooms on the tree. That's what I was going to say to you. The mushrooms on the tree have not oh. grown any larger, no more electricity came near them. But as the battle, you know, the, the, the blood that was pumping in your ears starts to fade, and you're all just standing there, recovering, taking deep breaths, Corollas seriously, like, uh, swaying on his feet, you can hear a strange humming sound coming from those mushrooms. Uh, shall we go uh, poke them? I, I say, wait, Beiru, no, before you go poke the mushrooms, did, he showed up. I'm gonna say, hey, uh, come help me skin this fucker. <laughs> and, <laughs> and take off its horns and claws and teeth. And and get take out and its eyes and whatever the, and heart and fucking mm -hmm. all the cool shit. Mm -hmm. I say let's first wait for it to stop sparkling and then we do that. That's that's a great idea. <laughs> Why let's have some lunch. It it it, it's, it continues to spark for about half an hour or so. And Bums is just practicing for the next minute. Oh, we can take a short break. <laughs> Yeah, you can take a short rest if you'd like. You can also take a long rest if you'd like. Yeah, I was going to say we can camp up here for the, for the night. Uh, yeah, I think... Oh, would we be safe by these mushrooms? So that's my issue. Oh, we can uh, them. Make a general... Make, There's make trees here. Yeah. An intelligence check or a survival check for me, uh, Richard? Vicarious? I'm, I'm dosing here by these trees, okay, in the survival. trees. Okay, you think that if this thing had made this its lair, even temporarily, you doubt anything else other than perhaps a dragon or another bit here would come near this place. Is the hole still in the ground? No. Or did yeah, it collapse? So it's, it's, uh, it's all Pyrus Ward situation. Damn it. So we can camp here, may run into another one of these, but we should be okay. <laughs> So, to harvest this thing. Yes. I need you to make a nature check for me. Is anybody able to assist him? No, I'm only half proficient. <laughs> nope. Nope. And anyone else also just roll their own natures check. or you not? Can, you can... I'll, I'll pray to Procan and give Xerxes some guidance. Right. Okay. So, you get to add a d4 to your roll. Uh, right. I will say with Siren's half knowledge, you won't get advantage. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Should I just roll? <laughs> there you go, a three. That's a one and a one for the podcast. Would you like to roll, Siren? Let's see if you're. <laughs> <laughs> A one, a one, and a one. That's another natural one. And we even updated, man. What Corollas the fuck? took all the Corollas took all the luck with that death save. These scales are so hard. 
Gosh. I'm taking it we need to be proficient in nature, so we can't roll. Yes. I'm not proficient in nature. I am okay. proficient in survival. This, this isn't... This isn't to see if anything happens. I just want to see if the roll would be good or not. Each of you, roll me. No. no. Yeah, each of you, roll me a d4. All of us. Yeah. Each one of you. I'll. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, come on. Wow. Sorry, okay. you could have rolled a four. One. <laughs> the rest one. of you guys, because this is a large creature. Three. Neville, months. Peter. Richard, please all roll nature checks for me as well. Uh, and Bims? Oh my word, no, Bims <laughs> can't help with this. It's a 3 for Richard, a 10 for... What oh we... my <laughs> word! This is terrible. <laughs> Fuck this. Update. So we've got three threes, a 4 and a 10. <laughs> And what about the sentient sword? sword? <laughs> Can we add them all together to you make You guys my... are a little bit... Yeah, the, the sentient sword is just going apeshit on this thing. And you guys are, <laughs> are literally butchering it. You get 24 days of rations out of it. Not too bad. Is it edible? Can we climb into it like a tauntaun? Oh, so we're not, are we not rolling survival for the skinning? No, no, this is a nature check for this. Oh, one. okay. Yeah, yeah. Different monsters, different checks. Okay, interesting. Uh, so you are going to get that. Uh, you are also going to get... Wait, where are those d4s that you rolled? Yeah, it was three ones, a two, and a three. I just want to read something quickly. <laughs> Yeah. Neville, ah. roll another nature check for me. God damn it. Ah, this is embargo blow on us. Nature. Not here. Yeah, not here. Okay. No, unfortunately, you fuck up the hide. You do, however, <laughs> manage to get two of the claws off of this thing. That are worth about and then use it like a tauntaun. Each. And then you're going to use it as a tauntaun. <laughs> Just to take a long rest, <laughs> I assume. How many claws? Two. Oh, it says you have 48. What? <laughs> we no. No. That had a lot of claws. That was not supposed to be. Yeah. My bad. I accidentally dragged the wrong thing. <laughs> Um, you do That's not what could have salvage been. <laughs> anything of great, great use. Um, everybody, give me some perception rolls quickly. Oh, watch us roll high now. Oh, no. And it's a lesbian girlfriend <laughs> arrives back <laughs> no. from walkies. Just waiting uh, on Corona. Yeah, what happened to throwing out the jackal yeah, to I'm feed sure. this thing? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, th I, I thought about it and then lots of shit happened and then I didn't. <laughs> and then he forgot. Fine. Uh, oh, nice. Corollas, 22. Finally, and something. Xerxes. And what about me? Oh, and Vera. <laughs> and the chef, Bob. <laughs> As you survey the battlefield and your eyes is. Your eyes, is, your eyes are drawn. <laughs> your eyes are drawn to the tree once again, to the corpse of what you presume to be Alderoot. Looking through the brightness, that bright blue coloring of those mushrooms that, as I say, are glowing even brighter now, you can just see below, towards the ground, there seems to be a hollow between what was Alderoot's body and the ground. It looks like there's something that is dug in there. I'm going to go poke it with my sword. But well, before you do that, can, does does technically uh, Wonder Root's corpse is dirty with mushrooms? Elder Root. Elder Root. 
Can I use press the digitation to clean the mushrooms off of him? <laughs> mushrooms are not dirt. Um, Can I use sacred flame to burn the mushrooms? <laughs> you instantly clean an object no larger than one cubic foot. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it would have been I think, cool. But it's a cantrip. It's yeah. Be, pew, pew. <laughs> All right. Are you going to sacred flame one of the mushrooms? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stand, stand back, back 60 <laughs> feet. I'm going to stand back yeah. 100 feet. Yeah. I can do back. this from 60 feet, so yeah. I move further yeah. back. <laughs> and how about this? Before you do that, what was the length of that lightning bolt that it shot? 100. Like 100 feet long. Hmm. Okay, so I think we all need to stay at least 100 feet away from each other. <laughs> The spiders web around the tree. Is there spiders in here? <laughs> Spider webs. Uh, up in up in the trees above. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've known Can that I... for a while. In this trees. Yep. No, no. Oh no, man! Fuck. <laughs> How big is the? Do I see anything in the trees? Carcarius assures you that you, you, he doesn't think any predators other than this thing would be nearby. Yeah, I'm going to go yeah. check the hollow so under I'll, the tree. How about it actually this? makes Let... a lot of sense why you haven't seen any spiders near these spider webs. But also, I mean, let, let's sense. be smart and not explode the mushrooms now. Let's rest first and then explode them in the morning when we leave. Yeah, I'm going to go check the hollow under the tree. Okay, there are some mushrooms growing near to it. So you're going to need to be careful. And I pop these this mushrooms. is Alberu, guys. Uh, Can while, you some... while Beru is doing that, I'm setting up my bear skin... What is it? My furry tent. <laughs> Your furry tent. <laughs> yeah, furry tent. His... It sounds even worse if I say you're pitching your furry I'm tent. I'm going to pitch a tent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh... to, to maneuver through these mushrooms, what would I need to do? Acrobatics, because Acrobatics. it's dexterous. Yep, exactly. Can it's I deceive like the hand. mushrooms? <laughs> I don't know. Hey? Can I deceive the mushrooms? No. <laughs> they are not sentient. Okay, no, I will... These guys are moving, but it's not actually moving you anywhere. If, yeah. uh, if I make myself smaller, would I get advantage on my acrobatics checks? Yes. Okay, then I'll make myself the minimum height that I need to be to still classify as a medium creature, which is like okay. four foot one. All right. I think it so is. So you're going to be the same size as the dwarf, in other words? No, a bit smaller than the dwarf, I think. How tall are you, Car Carolus? Five foot. Oh, okay. You're going to be shorter than the dwarf. Okay, I'll be a four foot one furbog. It's okay. a big ass dwarf. Face <laughs> out. Hold me. Say, so, say, so I get advantage of my acrobatics now. Yes. Uh, uh, I've always pictured you short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I even have a, a, a four foot sized outfit for myself in my backpack. But that's well. because you only ever see the top of him because you're like wrapped around his shoulders. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. So you see Beiru like maneuvering himself into this little hollow underneath the out the roots body and I'll find a plastic bag blow it up and pop it <laughs> <laughs> this is <Yes>. goat's bladder <laughs> anyway uh, gosh, you mustn't do that my brain is shot okay so you start crawling your way into this hole uh, do you have dark vision uh, I got something better than dark vision oh yes you do so you can see clearly in here. So looking <laughs> in this hollow, you you don't see a lot at first, but as your eyes adjust to the gloom, you see that there is a small bag resting mm -hmm. in the hollow. And you can mm -hmm. see that placed on top of this bag appears a ring. I wonder if there's a picture of this ring. There is. It looks something like this. 
okay mm -hmm. and can i make out any kind of a discernible writing or is it just pictures you just see these little pictures pictograms of animals on the ring uh the bag itself is tan in color mm -hmm. and it looks <coughs> somewhat like this okay well i will that's so cute i will consult my character sheet momentarily let me check something you, it's with an easy reach you can grab them <laughs> no i don't care about grabbing them i want to see if i have a particular ritual which i do <laughs> uh -huh. okay i'm probably going to spend about 20 minutes i'm just going to yell out i'll be a minute guys just like about 30 minutes or so <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna cast <laughs> identify as ritual on both of these items. Okay, so you're handling it, your ass in the air outside. There's only like <laughs> half of you fits in this role. This, and you can actually feel like tiny sparks of electricity hitting your ass. This <laughs> way, okay, from those mushrooms, the shock shrooms on the outside. But as you start your jumbo and you handle each of these items, the first one that you touch is the bag or the ring the ring which is on top you said of the bag the ring is a ring of animal influence but your spell tells you something more as you examine this ring you looked on the outside of the band and you saw the pictures of the animals on the inside of the band you see a name that has been carved in elvish and you read elvish right correct Erevan. Ah, Erebin. Isn't that the dude? That's that's the old dude that I freaking had a cosmic experience dude, with. Yeah. One more thing about this ring. As you're handling it and you take note of the word Erebin and you sort of whisper it softly as you <laughs> read it, along the edge of that ring, you see it's sort of rimmed in a green light. And... On one end of that light, of that ring, you see there's a pulsing, a thickening of that light. And it seems to be indicating a direction. And if I rotate the ring, does that pulsing maintain a single direction? It does. Cool. I'll pocket the ring and now for the bag. The bag is what is commonly known as a bag of tricks. This is an or looks like an ordinary bag, um, but when you reach inside it, uh, you feel the presence of small fuzzy objects. You can use an action to pull the fuzzy object from the bag and throw it up to 20 feet. When the object lands, it transforms into a creature. You determine by rolling a d8 and consulting a table. <laughs> <laughs> I have a the bad feeling about this. To you and your companions, and it oh. acts on your turn. You can use a bonus action to command how the creature moves and what actions it takes on its next turn, or to give a general order such as attack your enemies. In the absence of such orders, the creature acts in a fashion appropriate to its nature. Okay. Once three fuzzy <laughs> objects have been pulled from the bag, the bag cannot be used again until the next dawn. Okay, so you have three fuzzy objects per day. And I have dropped both of these items into the party sheet. Mm. No, into my inventory. Because now I'm going to use the from king there. ring. Now I'm going to use the ring. Now we can go find, oh, what's his name? So which direction is it going? The little pointer thing? Is it heading towards the north store? Or is it going in another direction? More to the east. All right. Cool. Ha. Well done, guys. You defeated the Behir, which I really, uh, really had. I had. I doubted that you were going to actually manage it. Yeah, same. That was, same. That was intense. I, it was uh, so lucky that it, it got its lightning breath back on that first turn. Yeah, and we didn't course. have any well, we, didn't, we had barely any spells because of that last battle well, all i know is that was a good last third spell use for beacon of hope <laughs> oh for sure yeah that definitely is, is 
badass. Okay, I'm going to remove the, the creature. I'm going to give you guys your long rest, but more importantly, when I give you this long rest, you will get a significant amount of XP. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll just tell everybody, I found Erevan's ring, and it seems to be pointing a direction <laughs> where he's going. <laughs> Kill the mushrooms quickly for 200 more XP. Oh, no, you're that is not kidding. the end of it. You have found Alderut, so you actually need to get another. But he's dead. He's he's dead. dead. Still found him. We still found but, him. Yeah. <laughs> but he he doesn't. He can't grow back. Nope. I I want to check Alderut. Give us two hundred experience. Let's see exactly what I'm trying to do. Give me a second. You should actually <laughs> look for roots, so you can replant them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want to look for. See if there's a way. It wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> there a bulb down that hole. Yeah. Mm. No. There so he's proper dead. He is proper dead. Okay, I rolled my uh, um, re re replenishment of my one of magic missile, and it got two slots. Cool. Uh. Phew. So, you are now level seven. seven. Congratulations, Yay. guys. You are now level seven. But we can only level up when we get back to town because we need to do downtime, right? Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Let's go back to town quickly. <laughs> yeah. Just, just quickly hop back to town. <laughs> spend town. a month there. Oh, yes, wait, wait, wait. Can I, so technically, right, if I take a little bit of the bark from this tree and we go back to town, can we... Uh, teleport to this tree if we let uh, the other wonder roots touch wonder it. Root. <coughs> Technically, this is not a tree. This is the corpse no, of a tree. But there's, but there's no, but trees there's trees around, around it. Oh, the trees, the trees around. <laughs> yeah. I will need to reread that spell. But if I remember right, <laughs> it actually needs to be that the druid has seen the actual tree. So we can. Uh, uh, take Wait, a photo of get it. Get your cell phone out and take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, we but... can telepathically explain exactly what it looks like. Uh, uh, goodness. Anyway, well, I think that is a very good place to call it for the evening. We will pick up next week with you guys going off in search of Erevan. Mm. Your Yay. only hope, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> yeah, well, now what we need to do is just figure out how we're going to level up next. With <laughs> patience. With patience. We can always go to Erevan and just level up there. Spend a month chilling with Erevan. <laughs> yeah, in with the Erevan. in the Dreadwood. It, what do you know about just a, an elven <laughs> an elven elven training montage? Yeah, you know I need to learn how to stabby stab better. So. You know what? I like the idea so much, and I feel like I need to reward you guys. This one time, <laughs> this one time, you guys, when you get to Erevan, you will spend some time with him, and he will share his great knowledge with you, and you will be able to level up like normal people. <laughs> awesome. But there's a, montage. Well, there's there, there's pros and cons to that, right? Because the the pros are cool. We get to level up while we're in the Dreadwood. The con is we don't get to do any of the stuff we would normally be able to do in town. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So there's uh, yeah, it's a that's cash twenty two. But we I'm can still have downtime after this. You could. You could. Yeah. So, fair. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. As usual, the YouTube and the podcast and all that rubbish. Well, not rubbish. I think <laughs> we're not rubbish. Oh, I need to choose my words more carefully. Yes. It will be up at a future point of my deciding. Anyway, good night. Stay safe. Get vaccinated. All that jazz. Bye.